Well, due to all these changes which were going on in the economy and in the trade in the world, India had to start with a new economic policy in the year 1991. Earlier, India had a different set of rules wherein they did not give much preference to the private sector. There were trade barriers, that is, the government tried to keep everything centralized because it hoped that if everything is in the hands of the government, there would be no uh, bad effects on the economy of the country. People are going to get things at a cheaper rate. It's going to be for the welfare of the people. But when the economy got hit, that is, a slow was seen in the economy, we had to change because of the change that was seen in the world. Therefore, came the new economic policy in the year 1991. Due to this, the government followed a liberalized policy, both in terms of the Indian units as well as the foreign trade. That is, the private sector was allowed to grow more and the foreign trade was told to actually also grow in the same manner. Then, the government thought that it should withdraw and therefore, the public sector's role was reduced. That is, at so many places where only the public sector was involved, now the private sector was told to come and join hands. Liberalization of import licensing. Earlier, there were very strict laws about getting a license for import. But now, the government actually liberalized it so that many people became importers and exporters in order to give a boost to the economy. Continuing with the same economic policy, the government also made reforms in the foreign ex exchange management and it also gave reforms in the financial sectors that is everywhere the offices, the documentation, whatever other help was required, the government readily agreed to help them in order to give a free flow of trade and to see that the role of the private sector increased which actually was seen as a great booster dose for the strengthening of the economy. I continue with it in the next clipping.